what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so today's monday i wanted to post a cleaning video for you guys to give you guys motivation to get your house clean so without further ado let's get into today's video so like every morning i always start off in the kitchen washing up the dishes after breakfast and i wanted to share a little tip with you guys that a subscriber shared with me I always over pour the dish soap and then since my hands are wet every time I pick the dish soap up I'm constantly dropping it and I just tend to use way too much and I run out so soon so a subscriber told me to take a bow and set it on the side of my sink and put a little bit of dish soap in there and then every time that I need some dish soap on my sponge just dip the sponge in the bow and it has been such a lifesaver. I have been using this tip every single day. And after I'm done washing the dishes, I've got my scrub brush and I put some diluted bleach water inside of there and I'm just gonna scrub out my sink. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to give my sink a quick rinsing. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you guys about the snowman that's setting in the camera angle. This is actually a soap dispenser and I got it over at Walmart for under $4. And now I'm just going to go in with my Lysol spray and I'm going to spray down my counters, let it set for about a minute, and then I'll wipe all my counters down. Once the countertops are dry, I go ahead and light the candle that sets in the middle of my bar, separating my living room from my kitchen. And I'm going to go ahead and put up all these dishes in the cabinets where they belong now that they are dry. And I like to keep this rack cleared off only because it bothers me whenever I have to look at all the different dishes setting on there and I need it empty because I'll fill it up again as soon as dinner's over. Now that the dish rack is empty, I'm just going to move it aside and I'm going to put the dish drying mat in the dirty clothes and replace it with a new one. And I'm going to disinfect the counter where the dish strainer sets. Now I'm just going to sweep my kitchen up. And I like to start in one room and completely finish it before moving on to the next. I used to be all over the place. I wipe everything down and then I'd take the broom and sweep in every single room and then I'd mop every single room. But I feel like I'm more focused and I get more done whenever I start in one room and completely finish it before moving on to the next. That way I'm not all over the house and running back and forth and it's just a lot easier. And this is my cat Mocha. She's the one who has spread these dog food pieces all over my kitchen. She likes to bat them out of the dog's bow so that she can chase them around the kitchen floor. And she freaks out every time I start sweeping my kitchen because she thinks I'm sweeping all of this around for her to play in it. So I did mop the floors up off of camera real quick and once they dried I went ahead and put down all of my little area rugs and now last but not least in here I'm just gonna wipe a few things down I really need to wipe my fridge down I like to wipe the fridge down every single day along with my microwave because Everybody in the house touches this multiple times a day and with all the nasty viruses going around I don't want any of us to get sick so I either use stick and span or Lysol because it kills germs or I'll put some diluted bleach on a rag and also use that. And then once I'm done with the refrigerator, I also move on to the microwave. And 
and I keep this little clip that's magnetic on my fridge and I just hang all the current bills that are due on it so that we can always know what's due and when. And now I'm moving on to my stove. As you can see, I did get a new stove. I was going to get an all black one to match my fridge, but I ended up getting this one that's black and white only because my kitchen's already so dark with the dark cabinets and floors and the furniture in there. So I felt like I needed to stick with white just to bring color into the kitchen. And now moving on to my living room. As you can see, it's not really dirty, but it really does need to be wiped down and dusted. So I'm going to start by stripping my couches. I do this once a week. I love to keep throws on my couches to protect the fabric from my dogs or any spills. And once my couches are stripped, I'm going to move on to this little area rug. I've got this carpet cleaning foam. I got it from the Dollar Tree. And it works so good. You're supposed to let it set on the area rug for a couple minutes. And then you go in with a vacuum. But instead of a vacuum, I actually got my carpet cleaner out. And I'm just going to give it a good cleaning. Because I do plan on taking it up and putting it away. Because I'm getting out a different area rug that's much bigger. And it kind of goes with the Christmas colors in my house. This area rug is such a light color. It does a lot better in the summertime because the ground's not always muddy. But since it's winter, the dogs go in and out and they track in so much mud on their feet. So it's impossible to keep this area rug clean. So once it's cleaned, I'm going to pick it up and take it outside on my deck since it is really windy out today I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna go in with my spick and span and a damp rag and I'm just going to wipe down and disinfect all of my walls I used to use a bucket of water with diluted bleach and pine saw in it to wipe down all of my walls but since I have pets and a six-year-old daughter Every time I use the bleach, it's so strong even though it's diluted, it like runs us out of the house and the smell lingers for a few hours after doing this. So instead of using the bleach, I'm just going to use the Spick and Span because it's got a light scent to it and it doesn't linger very long. And I do want to mention that I do do this once a week. So before we bought this mobile home, the people who lived in it before us were actually smokers. And before we moved in, we let it air out for about a month with the windows open. And I would come every single day and wipe the walls down with pine saw. And the color of the water and rag was just so crazy. It was yellow and orange from all the nicotine. So now when I wipe the walls down, since I've done it so much since living here weekly, my water's always clear and it just makes me so happy because I thought I'd never get rid of the nicotine even after painting the walls. I thought it was like permanent. Now that I'm done wiping all the walls down, I started at the back of my hallway and made my way into the living room, just getting everything swept up before I wipe the floors down. When we first moved in here and bought our mobile home, my husband put new carpet from the front to the back and it was the most expensive carpet. It was so thick and it was almost white. I absolutely loved it because my daughter was a lot younger and she learned how to walk and crawl in this mobile home. So I just felt like it was a lot safer for her that she didn't fall and hurt herself. And then as soon as my daughter hit the age of five, I was so over the carpets and I begged my husband to rip them all up and he did. He put these floors down and I loved them. I still do love them, but they require so much sweeping. And I guess it's just because I have pets and one of my dogs is white. So I can see her hair on the floor every single day. 
and that just makes me want to sweep. So I'm constantly sweeping at these floors. Now that the floors are swept up, I'm filling up a bucket of warm water in Pine Saw. And I'm just going to get me a rag and start wiping my living room floors down. I gave my floors a little bit of time to dry and now I've just got my big area rug out and this was stored underneath my bed since it is so big I'm just gonna fold this out and I did vacuum it before putting it up last time but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it again and I did use my cinnamon apple carpet powder and I've noticed down in the comment section, a lot of people asking where I buy the cinnamon apple carpet powder. And I actually get it from the Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar. They have it every single time I shop there. And the brand is called I Love My Carpets. So now that I'm done with the living room and kitchen, I've actually got a candle warmer setting on the bar in between each room. So I'm just going to dig out a wax melt to burn in that today. And I'm going to pull out all of the wax melts that I received this week in the mail from a subscriber. Thank you so much for sending these to me. They all smell absolutely amazing. I'm in love with the Christmas smells. And I also got a few different bars from their Halloween collection that I still plan on burning because they smell so good. I also got this little box that's filled with different little scents that are listed on the inside of this box. And this is the company that sent me these. It's called WaxMeltStudio.com. These are amazing melts. And today I'm going to burn the winter spice. It smells so good, guys. And now the last thing that I have to do is fold up these towels that I used on my dogs last night. These are actually their towels. And I gave them a bath last night before going to bed. And I just threw these in the washer and then toss them in the dryer and I'm just now getting them out of the dryer I'm just gonna put them away and these are also little rags that I use on the dogs and also to wipe up my bathroom floor 
so I'm also going to fold them up and put them away and that's really all I have to do I want to thank everyone for watching and I'll see you next time